Right. So then we move, all of this is tied up, right? So we all need to keep track of the data we're doing. Right? So, vault. Who's using vault? Please show the lots of hands. Okay. So, who has got vault? So who's using an auditor's product? Okay. Okay, so keep your hand up if you've got vault. Right? So, vault is a great piece of software. It, it, has, a, it has the ability, it gives you the ability to manage all your data. Okay, so where did I put that? Where did I use that? What was the last version of that? Did I save over somebody else? Did somebody else save over me? Okay, all those problems are going to be eliminated if you go with the vault. Okay, so if you've got vault, the thing that you really understand about this little video I'm going to show you is the fact that you don't see vault. So most document control tools will control your design environment as well. They also have the ability to say, right, if you want document control, you're going to need to know what it is up front. So what we, what we offer is a solution that basically delivers a scalable document control solution where they actually start small, make your decisions along the way, and grow into it. Our customers tell us it's document management done right. So if you haven't looked at Vault, you really need to get out and have a look at Vault. So let's have a look at, so we've had a look at some of the concepts design, we've had a look at some of the engineering, we've had a look at the way Vault controls your documentation gives you the ability to control and manage your documentation. Let's have a look at what happens once you pass over the manufacturing side of the business. So this is an area we really never got into before, but we're now starting to invest some time and money into this area. So tooling. So we've talked about plastic parts. Um, this is a further investment on one on the long lines of the plastics industry. So this is a uh, chassis from a, from one of our customers. So we've now included a way for you to go out and analyze a plastic part from a manufacturing point of view and create a core cavity mold out of that using some standard parts um, from some world, world leading suppliers over here. Um, and it will go out and it will give you not only what the visual mold is going to look like, but where your gates are run as the visual and all that's going to be. It's also going to lay out the 2D manufacturing drawing. So if you're going to talk to our clients in India or in China, you need to get these things out like this on a relentless quick basis. This is revolutionary for them because they can now design a part with an inventor, they can now analyze that part to get mold flow and they can manufacture the tooling or design the tooling needed and that's part of the manufacturing shop. Really, really important and uh, a massive advantage if you're in plastic parts. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about today was Navisworks. I don't know if you've heard of Navisworks, but Navisworks is a great piece of software that allows you to collect a whole bunch of information and build a huge model and do some studies within a factory or, a, or a, um, a mining environment to show you exactly if you're going to have problems with putting your piece of kit into something that's already there. So this is really cool, right? This is cloud. This is cloud point, point cloud data that has um, been 3D digitally scanned in. Now this will get the accuracy of an inch plus or minus two millimeters. So if I want to add something to the end of my factory, if I want to put something on here, but I know well, I need to add another process, I can actually go and scan that information and it will bring up the points where I actually need to attach it. So it's very, very accurate and it's definitely very important. And this, this software, I can't tell you how big the holes are that you can get into this software. The other nice thing is it actually translates or brings in a whole bunch of other information from a whole bunch of other vendors. So if you want to have a repository to dump all the information, you go and have a check and see how everything's going in a project, this is the best software to do it. Very nice. So, that's what we call digital prototype. Give you the ability to look at things from the start to the finish. So we used to call that art to art, and now we call it digital prototype. Right? So you know, um, I think the tools that we've invested in over the last year um, um, are absolutely fantastic, world class. We have a world class solution that you guys can get out there and use. Um, I think in the next 12 months, what you'll see is a really, really tight integration for all those products being able to get in and around trip your software in and out of an early package. So. so once again, this is the right technology to be forward in the manufacturing industry. You should have a look at it all. These guys may be more than capable of showing you a bit of So take advantage of that and have a look at it. And I'm done. Is there any questions? <coughs>
mentioned electrical and you've mentioned all this plant layout and that sort of thing, but yeah. um, what about piping? Um, is there... Yeah, so um, depending on the level of piping you want to get into, so um, Ben Fresh has a really nice piping tube, <coughs> it's a great piping tube application. And how does that work with the, um, the rebit? Well, I've got a rebit, but you, what do you call it? Right. Rebit. <laughs> rebit. Has it worked with it? Well, once again, you. If you, if you have a plant room that you want to pipe up and you want to shrink wrap that and bring it out into, into a regular environment, you can definitely do that. And also with this cloud, cloud pointing, yeah. so that's fantastic. I mean, I've seen that working, cloud pointing is brilliant, so. Yeah, so I would suggest that if you're getting into models and you want to get into one cloud information, that you're really going to have to kind of consolidate all your information in something like um, Navisworks. We can, we can via a third party application bring it in directly into an inventor. And we have the ability to read that information in directly now, but there's plenty of packages out there. But, um, that I'm just wondering if you want to pull that piping package out and make it an individual, as soon as you have done it with the electric. Sure, you can export that piping package to something, bring it into um, an Amazon and look at it that way. <coughs> From the piping point of view, don't get me wrong, if you're designing a petrochemical plant, I should do it in a vendor. Yeah. Yeah, there's packages out there that will do that. And watch this space for more of those packages. It's going to be best in class to do that as well.